So good morning. <laughs> um, today I want to be talking about the second slogan of flow drum mind training. But before I go into that, I would like to explain one thing or another about these slogans and especially the context within we practice them. Because these Lojong um, slogans are part of the Mahayana training, I thought it would be nice to kind of talk about the main principles that we are working with here, um, which are two things. The first thing um, is usually translated as emptiness, and the other one is loving kindness or metta. And the, the main ground is working with the egolessness of everything, right? Where we started off meditating, thinking about our own enlightenment. Now it suddenly stops being about us and it opens us up. What I like about the teachings of Trungpa Rinpoche is that he wasn't really talking about emptiness as much. Um, he was talking about openness which I think is a, an excellent translation um, because emptiness kind of have this feeling that nothing's real, things don't exist. It's kind of nihilistic. It's kind of like, okay, well, if nothing's there, then what am I doing here? <laughs> I feel things. And um, by talking about openness, I think there literally is a lot more room because openness is seeing there's this big space in which a lot is happening. So thoughts come up, feelings come up, um, forms, uh, everything. But within that space, nothing is a solid self. Nothing is a solid something. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that this slogan points to that. Um, so, bridge made. <laughs> Let's go into the slogan, regard all dharmas as dreams. Um, so when I first read this slogan, I was like, so dharmas, what, what do they mean by dharmas? Is it like, I've, I've been studying the dharma, does it mean that all of that is just not true and I just wasted two years. <laughs> um, but luckily there are some uh, translations that are um, easier to understand, such as regard everything as a dream, regard the world as dreamlike. Um, so it's, it's the way we relate to reality. And often, if not almost always, we experience the world as a solid thing, as linear, as real. Our feelings are real, our thoughts are real, and we are real. We think that we are this solid thing that's unchanging and um, that's not entirely true. And that's why I actually like regard them as dreams. Uh, because at first it might like sound a little vague. You know, like what, what, what is this? So is it not true? Maybe. That's, that's a good exploration. But I, it had me thinking about my dream last night. I was dreaming about Chambala. I was at some Dharma Center, going, you know, I was in retreat, then I met a friend, a longtime friend, and I had sexy time with that person. Then, um, like, demonic Neanderthalers, like, appeared out of nowhere, and they could swim and do magic, and there were fireworks, and it all made sense to me. It's like, there was not a doubt in my mind that that was real until I woke up. It was like, you know, I could, I could be in a Dharma Center. That could happen. I could potentially even have a little moment with that friend. Um, 
But yeah, everything else was kind of like not even close to being potentially real. Yet in that dream, I was absolutely certain it was real. So I think what this slogan is pointing at is really questioning our relationship to what we see and feel. Constantly asking ourselves about the solidity and the vividness of whatever we are experiencing. For instance, if we take a car, we all know what a car is, um, but what if we take out the steering wheel? What if we take out the doors and the wheels? At what point does that car stop being a car? Is there anything that we can point at that that makes it carness? Is there is like what aspect of the car makes it a car? Um, what aspect of a human makes a human a human? I don't know. Um, and. Um, <laughs> there's a little gap in my thinking, but maybe that's what this is about. Maybe it's not about having the smart answer, about mentally figuring it out, but letting these slogans point us in the right direction toward the little gap, the little gap that's in between all our thoughts and feelings. That just kind of makes us a blue, I don't know. Um, that's worth exploring, I think. Um, so what I would like to suggest is a little contemplation that I will add to this vlog um, and invite you to have this discussion with me. I would love to hear your um, thoughts on uh, the meaning of this slogan, uh, on whatever it is that I said. <laughs> um, kind of explore together what all of this could mean. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.